Hi, this is Shrekha Srinivasan. In this video, we will understand how to work with Autocomplete Extender Control. Autocomplete Extender is used to extend the capability of a text box control to complete the user input by suggesting a series of values based on the prefix text with the support of a service method. This video will be in two parts. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use autocomplete extender by extracting the data from database. In the second part of this video, I will be explaining how to use autocomplete extender by prefixing an image while displaying the details. But before we start with the demo, let us first understand the properties of autocomplete extender. We have a property called test target control ID. For target control ID, we need to specify the name of the text box control. Service method, the web service method to be called, we have to assign service path. The path of the web service that the extender will pull the word or sentence completion form. If this is not provided, the service method should be a page method. Context key, it provides an optional overload of the web method described by the service method or service path. Use context key, it is used to specify whether or not the context key property should be used. Minimum prefix length, it is used to specify the minimum number of characters that must be entered before suggestions from the web service. Completion interval. We should provide the minimum number of characters that must be entered before getting suggestions from the web service. Enable caching is used to enable the client-side caching. Completion set count is used to specify the number of suggestions to be retrieved from the web server. First row selected. It is to specify whether the first row from the suggestions has to be selected or not. Animations are used to provide a basic unit of animation while showing or hiding the suggestions which are retrieved by the web service methods. Now let us try to understand how to use autocomplete extender with the support of database. I already opened my visualstudio.net with asp.net empty project. Before we get started with it, let us try to understand the database that we will use in our application. The database which we are going to use is Notwin database and the table products. Our requirement is whenever the user types in the product name, the relevant products should be displayed in the suggestion. So now let's get started. To do, let me first add a web form. Let me place the script manager control. Let me provide a title. Auto complete extender demo with database. I type in the product name a text box where the user can provide the input. Since my requirement is to extend this text box to provide the auto completion, I just extend it, select the extender as auto complete extender. The auto complete extender provides the suggestions based on a service method. So let's try to write the code for getting the suggestions for auto complete extender. Let me just make the room for our coding. In order to write the service definition, the method should be prefixed using system.web.services.web method attribute. And also it should have a support of system.web.script. Services dot script method attribute. 
Once we just define this particular attribute to provide the definition. Now let's try to write the service method where the service method should be a public static method which should return a string array. The name of the method I just tried to provide as a convention get completion list which will take two parameters. One is the prefix text that's the text typed by the user at the text box and the number of values to be generated. Let me just try to define the connection string. So user ID equal to SA password in my system is pwd123 hash and the database I'm going to use is notwin and the data source in my system is shaker the guru. Once I define this particular connection string SQL connection CN equal to new SQL connection of connection string and I would like to get the details based on my prefix text so I write a SQL statement string dot format select product name from products where product name like whatever might be the text the user is going to type in followed by any characters so I just try to format it in this way I define a data adapter to execute this select statement define a data set fill this particular data to our data set Let's try to write a simple logic to get the number of suggestions. I try to define two variables, one is row count, the other one is size. Row count is nothing but the number of records that we are going to get based on the input what we just have. It. So I say ds dot tables of zero dot rows dot count. This will give us the number of records that are present within our table. I try to check a simple condition if the number of records are greater than the number of suggestions that we want I take the size as count itself else if the number of records what we have retrieved is lesser than the number of suggestions I take the size as R count. Once we have this let's try to define a string array for maintaining the list of values based on the size. I take a for loop and I define a data row to maintain the values. Once we got the row, the product names of i equal to row of product name dot to string. By the time the loop is iterated, we will get the list of all the product names that are available. So I say return the product names. Once we have written the service method which is going to give us the suggestions, let us try to update our text box to use this particular suggestions. Let's try to toggle to our design. I select the text box, the properties, for the text box auto complete extender we have some set of properties that we can just try to specify completion set count it's the value which is going to be passed there first row selected i'm just making it as false minimum prefix length i keep it as one means soon after i enter the first character i would like to get the suggestions and the service method what we have written here is get completion list once we updated all this, let us try to execute this code. As soon as I type in the value, we can just try to observe it. We are getting the list of suggestions based on the information what we have typed in. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel Shaker Online for you. This encourages me to provide more and more free videos. For corporate trainings or online trainings, you can reach to my mail ID shakeronline for you at gmail.com or else you can just call back to my mobile number 901092169 or you can follow at my twitter thanks for watching my video